personally, I think we should just leave the ocean alone, let it be. Some things are better left as mysteries, right? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 dark submarine discoveries you were never meant to see. And you know, if we weren't meant to see this creepy stuff, then why on earth do we send people down there? I have no idea. Coming in at number 10 is the Titanic wreckage. The Titanic sank in the early morning hours of April 15th, 1912 in the North Atlantic Ocean, four days into her maiden voyage. It had an estimated 2,224 people on board when she struck an iceberg, and the sinking resulted in the deaths of more than 1,500 people, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. Now, after it sunk, they wanted to find the wreckage, but that would prove difficult as it is tough to reach and find a wreck that lies over 12,000 feet below the surface, where the water pressure is over 6,000 pounds per square inch, about 400 standard atmospheres. Now, a number of expeditions were mounted to find the Titanic, but it was not until September 1st, 1985, that a Franco-American expedition led by Jean-Louis Michael and Robert Ballard succeeded in finding the wreck. Then for some reason, people were so obsessed with it as multiple submersibles went down there to see the wreckage. This led to a 21-foot submarine named the Titan to go down there and do tours of the wreckage for the ultra-rich. But then one time something went wrong. It was carrying the CEO of the company and four passengers when it lost contact off the coast of Cape Cod. There was a search for the sub and it was hoped that they could find them and they could be found alive, but unfortunately nothing turned up and it appears that the sub imploded and everyone on board died. Now I think we should just leave all the boat wreckage alone and leave it in its new home at the bottom of the ocean. Number 9. Hagfish With a name like that, I think you can expect this thing to be quite ugly, and it is, it actually makes me incredibly uncomfortable. Like, do you see that photo? I am extremely grossed out. Ugh. Now, hagfish are an eel-shaped, slime-producing marine fish, and they are the only known living animals that have a skull but no vertebral column, although hagfish do have a rudimentary vertebrae. Hagfish are jawless, and living hagfish remain similar to hagfish from around 300 million years ago. There are estimated to be 76 species of hagfish, and some live as deep as 5,500 feet below the water's surface. Now, they are known as slime eels because of the goop their body bodies produced to ward off predators. These animals can grow between 15 and 40 inches long, and some live as deep as 5,600 feet from below the water surface. And you know, as long as they stay away from me, that is all that matters. Number 8. The Yanagui Monument Are they man-made steps in ancient pyramids that sink in an earthquake or natural rock formations? These strange structures in the water off the coast of Japan, nicknamed Japan's Atlantis, have baffled scientists since they were found. The sea off Yanaguni is a popular diving location during the winter months because of its large population of hammerhead sharks. In 1986, while looking for a good place to observe the sharks, the director of Yanaguni Cho Tourism Association noticed some singular seabed formations resembling architectural structures. Amazingly, scientists are still arguing whether Mother Nature created the Yanaguni monument, as well as whether markings in stone are carvings of faces and animals, or simply naturally made scratches. Today, it's a popular dive spot with tourists and continues to puzzle people as one of the ancient mysteries researchers still can't explain. Number 7. River at the Bottom of the Black Sea The Black Sea covers 168 500,000 square miles and has a maximum depth of 7,257 feet. It is one of the most isolated from the world's oceans, and there's a river flowing along the bottom of it. Now, it's not just a normal river, oh no, it's complete with trees, leaves, and even water. Waterfalls. One major difference is that the underwater river, when rounding a bend, moves in currents spinning in the opposite direction from those on land. Now, it has been an intriguing aspect of the ocean since it was found. According to scientists, if the river was on land, it would be the sixth largest river in the world in terms of the volume of water flowing through it. The discovery of the river, announced on August 1, 2010, was made by scientists at the University of Leeds, and it is the first of its kind in the world. Now, how an underwater river works, I have no idea, but I think we should leave it alone and not mess with it as we humans tend to do. 
Number 6. The Baltic Sea Anomaly In 2011, a sonar image was taken by Peter Linderberg, Dennis Eiberg, and their Swedish Ocean X diving team while searching for treasure on the ocean floor in the Baltic Sea. What the picture showed was a seemingly non-natural 200-foot circular object with passageways and stairs. The discovery looked like something out of a Star Wars film, and many people believed it was a spaceship that sank to the bottom of the ocean. Samples taken from the area in 2012 were given to Swedish scientists who said that there was nothing extraterrestrial about the area, but I'm not too sure about that. What Ocean X and the crew had found was weird, and many people still think there is a UFO lying on the bottom of the Baltic Sea, and thankfully there's another expedition to the area planned soon. Number 5. Black Smoke Stacks under the waters off the coast of Galapagos Islands, giant hypothermal vents that spew black smoke were first discovered here in 1976. The hydrothermal vents are usually formed along the mid-ocean ridges in locations where two tectonic plates are diverging as this circumstance creates a great geothermal energy that generates the hydrothermal vents, which are mainly seawater, which is expelled with great pressure and high temperature because of the magma that heated the water. So these black smokers, which can reach sizes of almost 200 feet are found between 8,200 to 9,800 feet under the sea. When superheated water from below the Earth's crust meets the cold ocean water, the ominous black smoke is formed. The superheated water can reach temperatures as high as 752 degrees Fahrenheit. These vents also host various types of sea life, such as aquatic snails, shrimp, and giant tube worms, which survive off the bacteria that uses the minerals found within the water from the smoke clouds. Number 4. Bloop the bloop is an unexplained sound that still has us baffled to this day. In 1997, an extremely powerful ultra-low frequency sound was detected at various listening stations thousands of miles apart and traced to somewhere west of the southern tip of South America. The sound only lasted about a minute and was heard repeatedly over that summer, but has not been heard since. Bloop is generally believed to be the sound of a massive ice quake, but some scientists haven't totally ruled out the possibility that the sound originated from something organic. Now that's where things get scary as if an animal was the source of bloop, it would have to be larger than a blue whale. The most interesting of all the theories stems from the fact that bloop's location is somewhat close to the author H.P. Lovecraft's fictional city of Relay, where the creature known as Cthulhu lies dead but dreaming. Cthulhu can be best described as part man, dragon, and octopus, which seems as likely a source as any of the ocean's greatest oriel anomaly. Again though, I think we should just let it be, because if it was was a huge underwater creature that made that noise, it would be huge. And that is terrifying. Number 3. The Mariana Trench In the western Pacific Ocean, you will find the deepest part of the sea. The Mariana Trench is deeper than the height of Mount Everest, 43 miles wide, and a massive 1,580 miles long, which is five times longer than the Grand Canyon. A certified U.S. national monument, only small areas of the Mariana Trench have been explored. James Cameron reached the bottom in a submersible vessel Deep Sea Challenger in 2012, with the last successful attempt to search the ocean floor coming in 2012. 20, when the Chinese submersible Fenduji made it all the way down. Several new species of underwater creatures have been discovered in the marina trench, with most living on the surface of the ocean floor, including a type of sea cucumber. Explorers will find themselves in total darkness as they continue to understand what else lies in the deepest parts of the ocean and how that marine life manages to survive. Number 2. Giant Oarfish An oarfish really looks like a fish snake hybrid as it's a huge, greatly elongated fish. The giant oarfish is the longest bony fish alive, growing up to 36 feet in length. And it's found in areas spanning from temperate ocean zones to tropical ones. Now, unfortunately, we know little about the oarfish because it lives so deep underwater as it's rarely seen, but you know what? I think we should keep it that way. However, we do know it neither feeds on humans nor fishes, but on small marine creatures like crustaceans and krill. It was officially discovered in 1772, and in September 1996, the United States Navy SEALs found a giant oarfish that washed up on the shore near San Diego, California, and it was 23 feet long. The giant oarfish is by far the largest member of this fish family at a published total length of 26 feet, with unconfirmed reports of a 36-foot and 56-foot specimen and 600 pounds in weight. Now, even though these aren't confirmed, the 23-foot long one still scares me immensely. And 
Coming in at number one is Zemchug Canyon. Zemchug Canyon is an underwater canyon located in the middle of the Bering Sea. It is the deepest submarine canyon in the world and is also tied for the widest. At 8,530 feet deep, Zemchug is not only the deepest ocean canyon, but is also over 2,500 feet deeper than the Grand Canyon. Home to countless deep water marine life species, the submarine canyon is both the stuff of wonders and nightmares. A handful of researchers have taken submersible crafts into it, but none have yet to be able to reach the bottom. In 2016, Michelle Ridgway explored the canyon piloting an eight-foot submarine in an expedition sponsored by Greenpeace. She reached a shelf depth of 1,757 feet, or 536 meters, that is a third of a mile below the surface. Its sheer size adds numerous complications that have made its exploration a difficult task to this day. It'll most likely take many dives into the dark depths before Zemchung Canyon is fully explored, and who knows who or what is down there, but personally, I wouldn't want to find out. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 dark submarine discoveries you were never meant to see. Which one on our list shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments down below, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.